Tonight, let's journey into a world of mythology, shall we? Best-selling book series Percy Jackson and the Olympians is being adapted into a new Disney Plus original series where young demigod Percy Jackson goes on a thrilling journey of danger and self-discovery. The creator of this incredible an incredibly popular universe, number one best-selling author Rick Riordan. After being accused of stealing Zeus's master lightning bolt, Percy embarks on a cross-country quest to clear his name and restore order to Olympus to prevent a war among the gods. Along the way, he faces monstrous creatures, befriends fellow demigods, and uncovers the truth about his own origins. Let's take a look. Percy Jackson, your father needs your help. The master bolt has been stolen. If you don't return the bolt, there will be war. That is your quest. All right, I'm sold. Author Rick Riordan joins us now in studio. Rick, it's so good to meet you. Oh, thank you um, so much. I knew your name long before I knew you, as my kids loved your books uh, uh, growing up like so many do. Um, before we jump into the series, background for some who might not know, you started as a teacher. I did. I was a middle school teacher uh, in California and in Texas, public and private school, for 15 years. So I know that age very well. That's why you went with mythology, right? Yes. I mean, every year that I taught it, Greek mythology was a hot topic with my students. At, at that age, for whatever reason, these stories just really resonate. And I was very happy to tap into that when I started Percy Jackson. Yeah, and so there's Percy Jackson, and there are the books and movies, and now this series. I mean... It's tough to ask this question because when you're writing your first book about this, you, I'm sure you're unsure about it, but did you ever think it would get to, to this point? No, not at all. Actually, the story of Percy, the story of the lightning thief, the, the first novel, began as a bedtime story for my own son mm -hmm. when he was nine years old. And he was struggling with ADHD and dyslexia at home. Homework was very difficult for him, so I began telling him Greek myths because he loved them at that age, too. And when I ran out of the original ones, I made up a new one, Percy Jackson, to show him that uh, if you have ADHD and dyslexia in Percy's world, it's a pretty good sign that you're a demigod and That's you're very special indeed. It's a superpower. Absolutely. Right? Um, in the series, 12-year-old Percy Jackson discovers his newfound identity as a demigod thrust into this world of gods and monsters. Um, let's take a quick look. You won't be alone. A quest is always undertaken by three. Demigods process reality differently. We well, gotta figure out what you're good at. Should I try again? No! <laughs> so talk about finding these, you know, newfound powers and, um, there is a connection with accepting yourself, right? Self-acceptance. Uh, yes, absolutely. What we like to, to say is that whether uh, your difference is a learning difference or whether it's uh, that you come from a different place or that you have a different outlook, whatever it is that makes you different, that is not a weakness. That is a strength. And as you said, it can be a sign of greatness, a, a, a kind of a superpower. After being accused by Zeus, which that's a being accused a, by Zeus, not, look not, out, not of good. stealing his master lightning bolt. Percy goes on this journey across America to find and restore order in Olympus. How does this particular quest impact his understanding of his own identity and his place in the world? Well, Greek mythology is always about the hero's quest. You, you leave home, you have a challenge, you change yourself, you, you become the hero you are meant to be, and you return home, hopefully, uh, a better person for it. Almost all Greek myths boil down to that. But that's a metaphor for what most of us go through in life, too. All of us have our own quest. All of us face our own monsters, if you will, and our own challenges. Mm. And Percy's happens to be a road trip across the United States, fighting all these monsters from Greek mythology. But he's also learning who he is and what powers he has. This is, it really is an amazing world you've created for so many to get lost in. I really love it. Oh, thank you. Rick Riordan, thanks so much for joining us. Percy Jackson and the Olympians will premiere December 20th on Disney+. Plus. Disney, by the way, is the parent company of ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.